it doesn't make any sense. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, he'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This isn't a puzzle. And you're dealing with a man whose go-to solutions to problems has been to kill them away. Remember what you promised Joe. Anna will not be safe where you're going. You can't bring Nick back, but you can still save yourself and Anna. Breathe. Focus. Think it through. Declan's already killed two people. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. Nah, that's too dramatic. It'll probably be something quiet, simple. Make it look like you killed yourself. Took too many pills. Who'd question that? You're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just... just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, alone. Stop it. Sam! Sam! Sam stop! There's a turret. Stop! Stop! Sam! Stop! Stop! Stop the car! Sam, are you okay? You nearly got us killed. I need. I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here! I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! No! Ah! Losing control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you even hear me? Oh, fine. I'll come to you. What? I got a feeling I'm not gonna like this. Okay, do not freak out. You've been through this before. Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. It still keeps going. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. Question is, where does it lead? Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. I'm losing control of my own mind again. I'm almost making it a habit. Wonder what's in store for me now. Always tackle a problem head on. Of course. There's no running away from it. You 
think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. I don't need that right now. Is that? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here, I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. No. I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? Sam, come with me! What? Which one are you? Sam, where are you? Sam? 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 Sam, where are you? Sam, where are you? Sam. Sam, come with me. You and me, Sam, we can do this. Put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Quick, toss the ring. Make a joke. If you don't manage to save face, it's over. Tell her you want this. Be forward. She'll reconsider. If you don't, it's over. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry, I just, I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? Leave Muley. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. 
promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Explain yourself to her, or try to, as best you can. She deserves that. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault. I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. You're leaving town just like that. Not even an explanation for an old friend. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I... I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back. No matter where you go. I know you don't want to talk about it, but he's your son. I said this conversation was over. He's not having a good time at school. He has trouble socializing. Ah, oh, what does that even mean? He's having some trouble making friends, that's all. He's always talking to himself, to his imaginary friend. Imaginary friend? I had one at his age. If you had real friends, he talks to himself more than he talks to other people. You should consider what the young teacher mentioned. He doesn't need remedial classes. They just want to put useless labels on him. They're not remedial. The program's meant to help him with his social skills. It could be good for him. But my son is not going to be in some dunce class. You were there when no one else was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. I'm ready. Hey. Hey. It's been a long road. I think it was always coming here. You know? You've opened yourself up a lot more than I expected. 
especially to Joan and Anna. You're finally back on the right path. I believe some of the credit is mine. I'm doing my best with what I have. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? You always make it sound like you care, but all you want is to change me. But the two halves of your world, they don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. Facts. What? They're facts, not things. And they should matter to everyone. Yeah, well, they don't. They might not even matter at all. Tell Nick that. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even now. My world may fall apart. You'd still be here. Of course. Though you did handle your panic attacks just fine on your own lately. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. I sacrificed so much effort just to make myself miserable. I've had enough. You just have to care more about the people around you, and less about everything else. I know. I'm ready. It's not gonna be easy, but you and I, we're gonna get there, together. <laughs> <laughs>